Hi guys, this is ft 465tv TV once more back with another video and today we are going to do an update on the Ego blockchain. I think it's been a while since we last did our last video on Ego, so today we are going to bring you some updates. So with the macro picture getting worse in terms of markets, the, the Ego blockchain and its egg token, the power forward, the power on, and it is proving to be one of the most resilient projects out there when it comes to holding up during this bear trend or bear market. With the top two cryptocurrencies in Bitcoin and Ethereum, shedding 34 and 43 percent respectively. Ego has seen its egg token drop by less than that of the leading cryptocurrencies, having seen a drop of around 26 percent, which is solid. Yes, the volumes are lacking, which means that it doesn't take that much to move the market, but Ego's fundamentals haven't changed. Ego still has one of the best blockchains based on the proof of work consensus mechanism, and I can stretch it as far as to say the Ego blockchain is well designed compared to Bitcoin. This community is still very strong. You can see the support of the community via Twitter as well as via YouTube. It is very strong. That is a fundamental basis for any project. Without a community, you've got mercenaries and they only come when they want something out of you. Once that is gone, they leave as well. I'm talking of projects who've got tokenomics based on rewards. After that, people will just leave. That's no community. So Ego still boasts an army of strong dubs and of project building on the Ego blockchain. Uh, we covered some of these in our previous video where we covered Ego Dex, Ego Pads, Sky Harbor NFT Marketplace, and Aneta BTC protocol bringing Bitcoin to both Cardano and Echo blockchains. So what else is happening within the Echo ecosystem? For one, there is GetBlock.io, which launched a sub-pooling on their Ego-based mining pool. GetBlock.io has announced the launch of its long-awaited sub-pooling integration on the Ego-based mining smart pool. A smart pool leverages the strength of smart contracts within a blockchain to enable transparent on-chain processing of, of a cryptocurrency miners' share and payment distribution. Sub-pooling is a mechanism that allows miners to create their own mining pools while utilizing state-of-the-art infrastructure developed by GetBlock.io. These sub-pools can be used to allow miners to combine their hash rate in a joint effort to find and share block rewards. Various settings can be adjusted such as payouts, distribution methods, fees, assets rewarded, and much more. The sub-pooling framework also allows miners to distribute their own Ego-based tokens in, in layer of ERG, the Ego coin, as additional mining rewards. Some of you might be asking what GetBlock.io is, right? Well, I've got that covered for you, ladies and gents. GetBlock.io is an innovation and technology fund institution focused on applying and delivering education solutions, capabilities, leveraging the latest innovation from blockchain technologies. Based in Pittsburgh, US, with global presence, GetBlock.io partners with community, blockchains, and technology investments to advance humanity through blockchain solutions. For those into mining, I think this sounds like an awesome development. Any miners out there, please comment down below and let us know what your views are as far as GetBlock.io is concerned and their latest development. Next, we move on to Eroy Ego Wallet updates. This one we applaud. This was getting to a point where we're not able to access our assets via the Roy wallet. If you want to do so, wanted to make several attempts and even then, no guarantees that you'll be able to do so successfully. I personally end up creating a different wallet, a Notless wallet, to be able to interact with my assets and to perform different operations. So this fix brings a sigh of relief as I still have a couple more Roy wallets holding both Ego and Cardano assets. So what's been going on there with the Roy wallet? Well, it is reported that Enugo, the entity behind the Roy wallet, has built backend infrastructure to improve the user experience of the Roy Ego Wallet. These updates to the key infrastructure have revived wallet accessibility and significantly improved the overall user experience. I must say I'm surprised it took this long, but better late than never, right? Anyway, I used the Roy Wallet recently, and yes, I can confirm that things are working as expected, and it's a massive improvement to what the last few months have been in terms of user experience. It's been very slow, clunky, failed transactions because it was getting time doubt and so forth. So this update is well overdue and it's very welcome. And then we go on to Autolicos, the Ego consensus mechanism. The Ego team has now shared more information on one of the few asymmetric memory hard proof of work puzzles that is still ASIC resistant, thus ensuring that the blockchain is kept as decentralized as possible. If you are one for taking more details, please follow the link for a more in-depth resource on this subject. The link is down below. Also guys, once you're down there, don't forget to click like and subscribe as well as click that notification bell. You can also 
follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is right here. And also, guys, bear in mind that what I'm sharing with you here today is not financial advice. These are my own opinions based on my own research. If you do require financial advice, I do urge you to approach someone who's trying to give financial advice. I'm just some dude on the internet. Anyway, back to Autolycos, the ego consensus mechanism. Due to the complexity and length of the technical documentation, the ego team have elected to publish the documentation on, on Autolycos in parts to enhance comprehension. Now we move on to Tossidrop. Tossidrop is coming to ego. We knew that based on our last video. The Tossidrop team recently shared a sneak peek with the community via Twitter a few days ago and soon any project will be able to distribute any ego native tokens to their communities. We say awesome. That's well overdue. We need that. Then finally we get to the ego hackfest. The ego hackfest was completed the end of May and we still await the results from the judges to see which project won. Again guys if the results have already been announced by the time you watch this video please comment down below and let me know if those results confirm your choices or they were complete surprises. I don't have any preference because I think majority of the projects on that list were quite impressive. There will be some that will stay on the margins but majority of them I think they were just as competitive. So if you have your own favorite projects that competed within the Hackfest please let us know down below. Comment down below and let us know. And also you may want to tell us why you believe in that project more than the others. And anyway, here's a list of the entrants that took part in the Ego Hackfest. The last team is working on the design for a local exchange trading system. This decentralized app or DAP would create a localized trading system where people list offers and needs, creating an economy around the exchange of services. Next, we have Sentient NFT. The Sentient NFT team is building an egg EVM bridge or DEX with the goal of implementing an automated market maker mechanism utilizing probability distribution of a continuum in n dimension. They will use the proof of work consensus on Ego to secure the bridge. Okay, I think that's a decent approach. I'm not sure if it's beyond compromise or if it can be exploited just because it's proof of work. I'm not sure, but I think that makes sense what they are trying to do. Then we move on to Ego Family Banners. The team behind the Ego Family Banners aims to mobilize and utilize the existing Ego community talent, thereby allowing all Egonauts to actively engage in building and support of the Ego ecosystem regardless of expertise. Okay, we'll wait and see what that is all about. And then we move on to Ego GraphQL. For the third week of the Ego Hackfest, Captain Nemo of Not Plus Wallet reported that they reached parity in terms of functionality with the current Explorer API and did lots of code refactoring and optimization. Going forward, they plan to fine tune SQL queries and improve the caching mechanism to reach even better performance and response time. Next is Egosphere. Egosphere aims to bring an umbrella type solution, see getumbrella.com, to Ego and allow easy node setup. We move on to Maltsig. The team behind Maltsig is exploring the development of a new Maltsig wallet. And then there is Night Owl. Night Owl is the team behind the creation and deployment of a decentralized casino on the Ego platform. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The team were aiming for a September 22 launch. Okay, I'm going to have to go and do more research on this, see what it's all about. Then there is the Tensile team. The team behind the Tensile is building a decentralized open source and non-custodial trading platform. It will offer derivative contracts as well as trading with leverage and market hedging for assets offered on the Ego blockchain. Okay, let's wait and see what that brings up. Then you got the Oracle Pools V2, which I think V2 stands for version 2. This team has set a goal to implement Oracle Pool bootstrapping from a single command. If completed, they plan to run a pool on the testnet and implement some of the other transactions described in EIP, which I think EIP stands for Ego Improvement Proposal. Then we move to Swamp Audio. I think we briefly touched that when we did our last video on the killer dub on the Ego blockchain. Swamp.audio is a digital music label formed in 2013 and they have a catalog of over 40 music releases. They're looking to build a layer 2 musician launchpad on the Ego platform. Next is Dubstep. The Dubstep team is working on developing interactive tutorials for decentralized app developers with Node.js or JavaScript stack. Then you've got the Ego Nation. Ego Nation is a non-profit entity that is committed to Ego's first principles and ideals. They entered the Hecathlon to work on a project focused on decentralized ideas and governance. Okay, I think there is more traction on that, but I, I wait to dig deep in to read about the details, and then I'll pass my own judgment. But I think anything around governance and decentralized identification has got a lot of potential. That's based on my own experiences and some of the projects I've looked into. Then we've got Dark Lord of Programming, Ruby NFTs. This team's entry for Ego Hackfest will work on the development of Ruby binding. And finally, you've got Azorus. The team behind Azorus is designing a Web3 data intelligence suite that will provide ledger data for all UTXO blockchain 
blockchain. That's it for the Hackfest and we still await the results but in case I missed the announcement guys please let me know down below in the comment section. Do let us know if any of these projects interest you and whether you're going to be supporting them. Anyways that is all for today's Ego blockchain updates. Comment down below let us know what you think and if you do want to see different sort of updates. This was a general update on the project itself as well as on the performance of the egg token or egg coin. Anyway guys comment down below and whilst you're down there don't forget to click like and subscribe as well as smash that notification bell. Until next time guys this is FD for Sagebug.tv signing out. Bye for now.